My name is Seema Ishleker. I am the head of the Central Sterilization Unit at Bonadilla International Hospital. Our unit bears a major responsibility for preventing the spread of infection in the hospital. All the surgical instruments that are contaminated, used in operations, surgical interventions, and medical procedures in various departments of the hospital, are handed over to the dirty area and then classified, cleaned, and decontaminated here. In accordance with international sterilization standards, Central Sterilization Unit should have four areas. Dirty area, clean area, sterile area, and support area. Our sterilization department performs procedures that prevent cross-contamination of tools and materials used during diagnostics and treatment. Sterilization should not be considered an easy process. It is a process that provides materials suitable for medical use, so it should be considered a production process. In the dirty area, we take over dirty sets with impaired sterility from all the departments of the hospital, operating rooms, inpatient areas, the clinic, as well as consigned sets. We use digital document management system, barcode system for surgical instrument tracking. Thanks to surgical instrument barcodes and identification numbers, in case of any inappropriate sterilization or any problem report from the last user, we can use this barcode number to go back to the beginning of all the sterilization processes and analyze them. Damage control, efficiency control, effectiveness control, and deficiency control are very important for safe surgeries. These controls should be performed reciprocally by each staff member, handing over and taking over the items. All the processes are performed in accordance with the standard disinfection procedure. As a general rule, after the disinfection of instruments in the dirty area is finished, they are transferred to the clean area. Sterilization is a medical process that requires conscientiousness. In our work, there's only one truth. An instrument is either sterile or it is not. We have no fault tolerance. We should not cause any medical errors. This is our obligation. Our goal is ensuring high level of patient, staff, and material safety. Infection control is very important for us. Organization is everything. Nothing will work without good organization. While the departments providing healthcare services perform medical interventions, Central Sterilization Unit prepares tools and materials that are used during these interventions. Our team has done a lot of great work. The work we do is a relay race. We've known each other for such a long time that everyone knows when their turn comes without even looking back. Our unit is determined to work in accordance with high-level work ethic rules and standards.
I love sterilization because it is an active work that requires effort. Trainings are an important part of our work because the quality of healthcare services can be increased only through professional development. Our sterilization staff receives four stages of training. Staff working at the first level receives extensive theoretical and practical training. And after working for six months, they move up to the second level. Then they continue to take examinations, receive training, and apply their knowledge. Staff members that have moved up to the fourth level are considered sterilization professionals. Central Sterilization Department provides services seven days a week, 24 hours a day, without interruption, as we perform thorough infection control. Our hospital sterilization department was set up in accordance with the JCI standards. Our goal is to ensure high level of patient and staff safety. Our aim is to meet the JCI healthcare quality standards for sterilization services. Health is priceless. Trust the best.